All right, girlies, we're on finally on episode three of Pass or Fail. And this look is inspired by Gabby MUA Studio. And I found it on Instagram and I thought it'd be really cool to do a little cool tone type of look. But I already knew that doing this eyeshadow look would be kind of hard, especially with the blonde color on the lids. And when I have hooded eyelids, it's really hard to have shadows kind of show up because I don't have enough lid space, in my opinion, to do certain looks. But it's a work in progress. And the funny thing with this foundation is that I kind of bought it online and I bought the shade way too light. So I had to mix it with the Nessa Myricks shade in 8.5. It's the only thing that's giving this makeup look life. And this concealer from Natasha Denona, I will say is very high coverage. But the issue is with this concealer is that you really cannot let it sit like whatsoever. Since this foundation is a lot lighter than I expect it to be, I made sure that I use a really red tone bronzer so I can bring warmth to my face. So in her look, she had freckles. I don't think her freckles are fake. I think her freckles are absolutely real. But I have to make sure I give myself fake freckles, obviously, because I don't have any. And I thought it'd be a cute look to put it underneath the powder so that when I spray my face, you can actually see the freckle itself. And it's not so, let's say... In your face so the funny thing about this eye look is that i started it on uh, like a thursday and then i was like you know what i couldn't finish it so i just finished it the next day but that's why you see my outfit change completely but the process is still the same so i made sure that i use a gel liner a pencil liner and then finally a liquid liner to make the line stand out a little bit more and then i use an eyeshadow from juvia's place to kind of bring that warmth underneath the eye Somehow, some way, I knew I should have used the Made by Mitchell first before I used the Danessa Marix palette, but it's okay. So now I know a good color to use with brown would be red. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think I passed or do you think I failed?